I too, Chris Veers again. Um, this is video number two of the EG Athens battery rebuild. And it's kind of crappy, but there's a picture of the EG Athens right there on my laptop. And then, all right. So, uh, I'd like to take a moment to discuss what it is exactly we're going to use to rebuild this battery. As you recall, this is our battery pack right here. It's, uh, it's, uh, two milliamp hour cells and a group of five. So this is 50 cells. And if you turn the key on, you can see that it's kind of low. Oh, wait, that's right. I disconnected the BMS. So there's nothing connected on it, but you know what i gotta pull the wiring out of it and pull the bms out of it so what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the samsung 29e as you can see i have a box of them an incredibly expensive box of them but <laughs> only the best so this is the inr 18650 2090 by Samsung SDI and uh, I get them direct from an automotive manufacturer so I know they're the best of the best and I get uniformity and I can promise a specific product without basically the questionability of buying from Chinese sources so uh, that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna take a pack of these and we're gonna replace the original 2 milliamp hour cell with a higher power density cell so we're gonna use a 4 series chain in place of a 5 series chain basically so the pack we're gonna build to be slightly smaller and it'll fit in the box a little better so before I start building the battery I'm gonna disassemble this pack and take the BMS and take the ends of the battery box off of it. So I'm going to start snipping wires. There's the pack positive right there. And I like to clip the wires as close to the source as possible so I can get to the you know, so I have enough wire left to get what I need there is pack negative which is connected to the battery management board so we'll cut that one about where they connected it at the factory, so it'll be right there. Now, I can take that wire and pull it from the battery management board all the way through. And then here is positive to the key which I'll snip by the black wire so I can find it later. And then these two here are the wires that for the battery meter on the box. Basically just tell you how much voltage is coming out of the thing. So we'll pull that out. And then we can disconnect the BMS from the box. tape off there and pull it free and then there's battery negative which I'm going to leave as much wire on my BMS as possible I have this nice spider web of wires and another one too so step two is going to be getting the BMS lead off there we're just going to just trace each wire back to its source. 
Şöyle. And uh, when I built a new pack, if I need to lengthen anything, I'll do that. There's one. Two. Three. Cut back as far as possible. All right, and there is my BMS lead, which will plug into the BMS once I built the new pack, and then. That makes my assembly pretty simple because basically all I have to do is build a pack in the same configuration and I'm ready to rock. Glue it together. Uh, I've been working on making some better battery assemblies, but at the moment I'm just using hot glue and Gorilla Tape, which seems to work pretty damn good. Anyway, uh, that's video number two. Thanks for watching, and video number three, I will start to build the battery.